let's go there for a minute. You said that uh, News Media Canada was the biggest lobbyist on this bill yes. and that they got everything that they wanted. And we saw immediately after C-18 was passed, Bell Media decided to shut down over 1,200 news outlets uh, that were local. Metro followed suit. And uh, so it looks at the end of the day that C-18 utterly failed to meet its objective and uh, rather lobbyists and the CBC and Bell and Rogers ended up with the lion's share of the taxpayers' money. Would you agree with that? Well, I'd say nobody's ended up with anything right now. Um, and, you know, there is certainly some hope that there may be a, a deal with Google, and if there is one, then there is some revenue. But I have to say that given what seems to be a permanent position where Facebook and, Meta and Instagram will not be coming back into the news market under this current environment, it's going to be very hard to make up the damage that's been caused by this legislation already, which I think will helps explain what we just saw in the fall economic statement, which was the $129 million, supplementing and more than doubling what's available per journalist as part of the labor journalism tax credit.